The answer, in short, is yes, but our faith goes beyond logic. So here's what I mean. You look at a passage like Romans 1.20, and you see it, it says, God created all things and we are without excuse. In short, that's what the verse is saying. Um, the point of creation is to point us to a creator, and that creator being God. So we have, we have a reason for creation around us. Everything we see visible is to point us to Him as a creator over all things. Here's another way Christianity is logical. Think about suffering. Sin came into the world um, because our first parents rebelled against God. And sin has broken everything in existence. And all people, regardless of their religious background, know something is wrong with creation. And we also see that even at an early age, we desire sin over what is good. Um, another way the Bible is logical is its timelessness. Um, you think about the smartest people that have ever existed, and they're having to catch up to the Bible. Think about this. At one time, people thought the earth was flat. But Isaiah 40.22 says, It is he who sits above the circle of the earth. This is God talking about the earth. So he knew and he made it known to us that the earth is a circle. It is not flat and you're not going to go off the edge of the earth into an abyss, into space if you go too far. Um, take this for example as well, NASA. Before we went into space, we knew very little about space and what it was like. We, we, we had some ideas, um, but we didn't know. And Job 26.7 says this, about space. He says, God stretches out the north over the void and hangs the earth on nothing. So as you look into the sky at night, you'll see a void, you'll see space. And before people entered into space, God was already telling us that space is a void thousands of years ago. A couple of things that we talked about, which you'll hear some of our leaders speak to, uh, is the story of Jonah and the giant fish, as well as Israel's escape from captivity in Egypt. So Jonah, a lot of people have issues with this. How could he have survived in a fish? Well, in short, and you'll hear more on this, in short, the answer is that he could not have survived naturally. But because God is who he is, he is above creation, he is beyond logic, he interceded and helped Jonah survive. Now, for us, in the natural sense, with our natural minds, that does not make sense. But logically, it does, because we have a God that is supernatural and can make supernatural things happen. You know, here's a funny example. If you think of creating a player on NBA 2K, or you're playing The Sims, or some other video game, uh, you even know logically you can intervene on behalf of your created player. If you have the power to create that player, or that person on your video game, God who is beyond all created things, that created everything, can do as He pleases. And He can intervene in ways that aren't natural, because He's supernatural. So there's the logic there with Jonah and the fish. And the same is true with the crossing of the Red Sea. When Israel escaped captivity from Egypt, the way that you explain that to somebody is by saying that God intervened and God is above all natural things and can intervene supernaturally. There's, there's some people out there uh, that believe it wasn't the Red Sea that they crossed through, but it was a more shallow water. Now the problem with this is that they don't go back to the Bible. It says that uh, Moses raised his staff and the waters raised up at the same time. And the waters were so high as they passed through that when Moses raised his staff again for the waters to fall, it killed the Egyptian army that was following them. Now, if this water were only six feet deep, how would they have died? That doesn't make any sense. So the important thing is if you're trying to look at the scripture and explain the scripture, you actually need to go through it line by line to make sure you're not, you're not taking an idea and running with it, which is what happens in most cases. So, again, the, the main idea here is this Christianity is logical, and there are some things that are supernatural that only a supernatural God uh, can help us explain. And here's a little bit of what the adult leaders shared with me that y'all covered on Sunday. 